Welcome to Golden Software's video training for MapViewer 8. MapViewer is an affordable thematic mapping and spatial analysis software package that allows you to produce professional looking graphics. In this video, I will cover how to create and edit territory maps. MapViewer has three overarching map types, base maps, pin maps, and thematic maps. A thematic map is a combination of a base map and linked data. It shows different types of information, like social and political information, corresponding to a specific geographic area like a county or state. MapViewer has 14 different thematic map types, a few of which have subtypes associated with them. Each map type will be discussed in its own training video. This video will discuss territory maps. Territory maps are thematic maps in which boundary objects are grouped in territories based on numeric or text data values. The example shown here displays sales regions by salesperson in the state of California for the fictional Blue Baron Pizza Company. Territory maps, as with many map types, only require two data columns, PID and data variable. However, many more columns can exist in the data file. Let's open a data file to view the formatting firsthand. We'll use the home data view command to view the data that was used to create this territory map. The primary ID, or PID, is what MapViewer uses to link the data to the associated boundary object. This must be unique for each boundary object and must exactly match the PID of the objects in the boundary file. So for this file, columns A and B would both be appropriate since they're unique. But the county boundary files in the samples directory uses the FIPS code as the PID. So we will use column A for the PID when we create the map. The data variable for a territory map can be any text or numeric data. While territories could be binned from the values in column D, we will instead use the text entries in column E. Now that we've seen how the data is formatted, we can create the map. Click File, New, Plot to open a new plot window. Click Map, Create Map, Territory. If we already had a base map created on this map layer, only one dialog would pop up, asking for the data file. Since that is not the case here, we will first be prompted to import the boundary file and specify the import options for the boundary file. In the Import dialog, select the CA2010.gsb file from the MapViewer 8 samples directory. Verify that the Show Options if they are available box is checked and click Open. In the Import Options dialog, there can be up to two tabs. If the coordinate system of the file cannot be determined, the first tab, or only tab if your file does not support attributes, will be an Assign Coordinate Systems tab, where you can specify the coordinate system if you know it. Since our GSB file has the coordinate system saved internally, you do not see this tab. The second tab, or only tab if your coordinate system is known, is the IDs and Attributes tab. This is where you set the columns for the PID, SID, and or hyperlink IDs, and determine which boundary attributes to import. By default, all attributes except the ones chosen for the PID and SID are selected for import, but you can click on these in the attributes list to select or deselect them. And you can click the Select All Attributes or Clear All Attributes buttons to select or deselect all of the attributes. We will leave the defaults and click OK. In the Open Data File dialog, you can choose the data file from the list, or if you have the data file open in a worksheet, you can use the drop-down list under Use Loaded Worksheet to select the appropriate data file. Click Open and the territory map is created. Now that the territory map is created, it's quite easy to edit the map properties. The first step for editing the map properties of any map type is to select the map layer so click on the Territory Map layer in the Object Manager if it is not already selected. The map properties are displayed in the Property Manager. Our PID and Variable for Statistics columns are listed on the General page. The former is already correctly set to our FIPS code column, but the latter is set to the County column, which doesn't make sense to calculate statistics for. We can click the Add button to add the June Sales column Then select the County column and click the Remove button to remove it from the calculation. 
Each column you choose to calculate statistics over will be in a separate section of the info page. That done, we'll go to the Map tab, where the properties for the entire map layer are located. On the Map page, you can change the fill gradient for the territories and set the fill properties for boundary objects that are not in any of the territories. You can decide whether to fill areas, circles in the areas, or squares in the areas. You can save your classes to your data file, and you can combine adjacent areas on each territory into new larger areas. Lastly, you can edit the territories themselves. By clicking the Edit button in the Manage Territories field, you open the Territories dialog, where you can change most of the properties for this map type. Here you can change the number of territories, view the data statistics, and a geographical summary for each territory. You can change whether the territories are mapped on an M by N grid, mapped by data classes, or mapped by text classes. Since our data column is text, we'll choose to map territories by text classes using our salesperson column. You can assign objects to the active territory and assign a fill gradient across all the territories. On the Territory page of the Property Manager, you can delete, rename, add areas to, and control fill properties of each individual territory. You can also add a new territory. So if we wanted to add a new territory, rename it, assign it some areas, and adjust the fill color, we would click Add to add the new territory, highlight Territory 5 in the Rename Territory field and type a new name, click Start in the Interactively Add to Territory field, click on areas in the map to add them to the active territory, Click Finish in the Interactively Add to Territory field to complete the addition of the new areas. And in the Property Manager, scroll down to the Territory Fill section and set the fill pattern and foreground color. This concludes the Creating a Territory Map tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.